from Argus Media, this is Driving Discussions, a podcast series where we focus on the forces that affect North American road fuels. Greetings and salutations one and all. Once again, Jason Metko with you, Associate Editor of U.S. Products here at Argus. And on this conversation, we sit down for the first time with our USAC DISTI senior reporter, Cooper Shookley. We'll dive into what he has seen in the market over the last 90 days or so, assess where things are presently in the middle of July, and look upon things for the rest of the summer of 2024. Cooper, welcome to the presentation. Glad to have you aboard for the first time. Last three months of your market, the Atlantic Coast distillate sector, been pretty tame for the most part, I understand. Can you just speak as to what we've seen the last 90 days or so? Jason, uh, good to be here. I think we're seeing really remarkable stability in the market and uh, trends following kind of the typical pattern they do seasonally the past five years with uh, a, a build in, in the stockpiles of distillates in the region. And uh, dips are very comfortable with those. I think we're seeing really a, a slight pattern of uh, you know steady, small movements in differential prices, but also seeing usually when uh, the EIA comes out on Wednesday, they show a build. We're seeing the markets pull back a little bit, ever so slightly, but really just dips range bound. The picture really looks like uh, a bit of a, a cut and paste of this time last year. And the market, I think, is is responding accordingly, and they're very uh, comfortable with that. Before we shift our focus to the present time, real quick, Cooper, jump back just a little bit further. We had the Francis Scott Key Bridge that went down, that accident back in March. I know that didn't affect markets as maybe the outside observer would believe that it could have. Can you just speak as to how that was the case? Sure. So terminals in Baltimore and D.C., which are uh, in that region, are supplied by either Colonial Pipeline or Plantation Pipeline to all come from the Gulf Coast of the United States up through there. So it's not a waterborne market in terms of uh, crude or refined products. So it affected things like uh, you know freight, dry freight, et cetera. I don't want to speak too much out of pocket about the different types of commodities and goods that come in and out of the ports of Baltimore. But as far as supplies of gasoline, diesel, uh, crude, that was not affected whatsoever. Our senior USAC distillate reporter Cooper Shookley is our guest on this edition of Driving Discussions. Cooper, let's get back to the present time here. You told me off mic before we started chatting here that the market was remarkably stable. Does that surprise you? Does that surprise your market participants? Yeah. Uh, surprise, I guess, the, the surprise being no surprise. Um, it kind of, I think, in coverage market, uh, a challenge has been to be okay with there not being always a headline-grabbing story. And it's, it's, your market isn't always the, uh, the uh, most interesting or intriguing one, albeit it's a very big, important market. Uh, and you know, nothing lasts forever. So there'll, you know, th- there will be a time. Uh, it could be tomorrow. It could be in a year or two years when the, you know, states is kind of upended by a Russia-Ukraine-like conflict or infrastructure is going down, et cetera, for whatever reason. But I think really it's been, you know, the challenge for for myself covering it to, you know, be okay with there not always being some, you know, remarkably uh, complicated story to tell. This is a market that's been, you know, it's well supplied, not overly so. And I think the players in it uh, are kind of knowing their place and not making any kind of drastic moves. So it's kind of watching all that. You mentioned a story to tell. What story can you glean from how things are at the present moment here, Cooper? Yeah, the story being, I think, uh, you know, markets move violently into place and gently in place. Not my uh, phrase, but I heard that one time. I think we're definitely gently in place right now. And I think uh, keeping an eye on uh, the refinery turnaround will happen September through November as refineries switch to winter grade diesel. And that point, you might see, you know, delays, which are usually uh, expected with coming back online. Uh, and at that point, you might see some actual, you know, day-to-day, more uh, nitty-gritty, you know, responding to a fundamental, you know, imbalance happening. But I think really the story has been just uh, people in the market uh, 
being okay with a very normal, typical summer story for this market at this time. I know you don't have as many as other parts of the country, but refineries in your region, they have not experienced what the Gulf Coast has experienced, like Houston with the derecho back in May, a hurricane barrel mm-hmm. recently. You've had in the last couple of days, we're recording this middle of July, a similar derecho rolling through the Chicagoland area affecting Joliet and other places. In some ways, it's a blessing for the USAC, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, last week with Barrel and the Gulf Coast, I think, you know, for whatever reason, the one thing that wasn't affected really at all, it seemed like, was refineries, uh, by and large. Northeast being uh, downstream of the Gulf Coast through Colonial Pipeline, Plantation Pipeline, uh, nary a blip uh, caused by that. So really, it's just been the fundamental lack of anything really... uh, dramatic happening, which is a good thing if you're uh, a consumer, certainly, if you're a reporter, maybe part of you kind of wants something happen that's juicy, but it's really not quite there, but you know, it's always a new day. A couple more minutes with Cooper Shookley, our USAC distillate senior reporter here on Argus Media's Driving Discussions. Cooper, next three months or so, I know you mentioned a little bit of refinery work possible. What else are we going to see here as we wind down the summer, do you think? The summer, I think, really will play out the way it's been playing out with builds of uh, distillates continuing to be you know, steady but not dramatically so. Uh, I think if there is a, a week uh, or a month or so of builds being anything you know, less or more than, than average, the market will adjust. And I expect to see differentials, you know, following the suit and, and staying really range bound right now. Near car barge diesel is minus two cents from the NYMEX USD flat price. I don't see it going, you know, up or down much more than five plus or minus from that uh, this summer. And then September to November, we'll start to see the binary turnarounds. And at that point, you know, uh, could see a facility that's late or are not late uh, getting back online. So I think really the that I feel very confident that uh, barring anything, you know, happening dramatic, we'll see a very similar story play out through the end of the summer. Well, he's pretty confident in his market. Cooper, appreciate the time, my friend. Thanks for doing this, and we'll catch up with you in the fall, okay? Jason, thanks a lot. Great many thanks to Cooper Shookley, our U.S. Atlantic Coast Distillate Senior Reporter, for making his debut on the Driving Discussions podcast series, a production of Argus Media, a leading independent provider of commodity pricing and information. And for more information when it comes to all things U.S. products here at Argus, we encourage you to visit argusmedia.com forward slash U.S. dash products.